I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of coloracetam. Now, this is an update to a video I made on coloracetam several years ago. You'll learn why we use coloracetam as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is, how much to use of the recommended coloracetam dosage, how many times per day to use it, potential side effects of coloracetam, and the best place to buy coloracetam. So why should you listen to this video about coloracetam? Well, because research shows that coloracetam will restore the synthesis of acetylcholine, restore long-term memory, improve working memory, relieve symptoms of severe depression, treat symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder, increase choline uptake even in damaged neurons, repair retinal and optic nerve damage. So it sounds impressive, doesn't it? Now, before we get started, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and hit the share button so others can learn about coloracetam and how it can help them and their brain health issues. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about what I know about coloracetam. Now let's get started. Coloracetam is a fat-soluble nootropic in the racetam class of compounds. Coloracetam is much more potent than the original racetam, pyracetam. Coloracetam was patented by Mitsubishi Tanabe Pharma of Japan in 2005, making it one of the newest racetam-based nootropics. The patent for coloracetam was later sold to Brain Cells Inc. in San Diego, California. Brain Cells is a small, privately held biopharmaceutical company specializing in developing compounds for the treatment of major depressive disorder, the treatment-resistant depression, and Alzheimer's disease. Coloracetam is similar in structure to pyracetam, and like all racetam nootropics, has a pyrrolidone nucleus at its core. Now, the latest clinical research indicates potential for treating depressive disorders and retinal and optic nerve damage. Coloracetam is unique among the racetams in the way that it targets choline in the brain. It boosts your brain's choline conversion to acetylcholine through the high-affinity choline uptake process. Pramoracetam is the only other racetam that has a similar mechanism of action by influencing the high-affinity choline uptake process. Now, coloracetam is one of the newest synthetic nootropic compounds. It is known for improving long-term memory and mood and for enhancing sounds and color. Thus, the color, the, the name coloracetam. Coloracetam is considered to be much more potent than pyracetam, and suggested doses are much, much smaller, often in the 3 to 10 milligram range. The coloracetam helps increase attention span, alertness, and boost long-term memory. Coloracetam acts like an ampicine nootropic, although this hasn't been verified in clinical trials. Ampicines tend to have a stimulant effect but do not produce the same stimulant side effects as Ritalin or coffee. Pyracetam, the original racetam that started the nootropic movement, is a cyclic derivative of GABA. It affects the neurotransmitter acetylcholine by helping acetylcholine receptors accept or be more sensitive to acetylcholine. Coloracetam also boosts acetylcholine in your brain, but through a different mechanism of action. Rather than making the acetylcholine receptors more sensitive to acetylcholine, it actually increases the synthesis of acetylcholine from choline by affecting the high-affinity choline uptake process. Coloracetam boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, Coloracetam boosts your brain's choline uptake by dark targeting and working with the high affinity choline uptake process in brain's neurons. Acetylcholine is made up of choline and acetate. These must be available to the neuron terminal at all times so that acetylcholine can be synthesized whenever it's needed. Now, free choline circulating in the blood crosses the blood-brain barrier 
and is taken up by choline neuron terminals. It gets taken into the neuron by the high affinity choline uptake system. The synthesis of acetylcholine takes place in the synaptic cleft, the space between neurons as it travels into the neuron. Now, the high affinity choline uptake system is temperature, energy, and sodium dependent. This system is the primary means by which choline is needed for the synthesis of acetylcholine is transported into the neuron and is the rate limiting step in the production of this critical neurotransmitter. When this system breaks down or doesn't work as efficiently as it was designed, you experience problems with memory, learning, and brain fog. Coloracetam affects this process and helps it work much more efficiently. In fact, it seems to boost the high affinity cooling uptake process, even in damaged neurons. Increased acetylcholine in neurons helps improve memory, it boosts cognition, and it provides better decision-making capabilities. And the second way that coloracetam works in the brain is, it also seems to improve AMPA potentiation. AMPA receptors are affected by glutamate which works in your brain and central nervous system to improve alertness and cognition. Coloracetam works with both AMPA potentiation and choline uptake enhancement. This combination seems to help improve mood disorders without affecting serotonin levels. Serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, is the current preferred mainstream medical method for dealing with mood disorders and depression. And they come with a list of detrimental side effects and don't work for every depressed patient. Researchers reported that coloracetam was beneficial in treating major clinical depression and anxiety disorders without affecting serotonin levels in the brain and without the side effects that go with disrupting serotonin. Research from a very limited number of studies have shown that coloracetam will restore the synthesis of acetylcholine. It'll restore long-term memory. It'll improve working memory. It'll relieve symptoms of severe depression. It'll treat the symptoms of general anxiety. It'll increase choline uptake even in damaged neurons. It'll repair retinal and optical nerve damage, so it helps your eyes. The benefits of, from supplementing with coloracetam seem to be long-lasting, even after supplementation has stopped. Even with very small doses of coloracetam, you should experience a decrease in anxiety and improved mood. Overall energy levels should go up. Now, unlike the effect commonly produced by stimulants, coloracetam offers a more relaxed, calm, and free-minded kind of thought processing. Coloracetam acts quickly to boost long-term and working memory and word recall. And many nootropics users report that colors are crisper or enhanced. Sound and audio seems to wash through you. Some even report that coloracetam enhances meditation. There is an extremely pleasant sense of being at peace with the world. Coloracetam was first discovered in the late 1990s, and because it's so new, very few clinical trials have been done with humans. So most of the clinical research available to us has been done on animals. Brain Cells Inc., who acquired the patent from the company that first developed coloracetam, have begun human clinical trials. And here we have two examples of clinical research done in the last 15 years on animals. Researchers in Japan worked with rats whose memory was chemically impaired. In this study, the rats were dosed with coloracetam for eight days. The team studied the effects on the high affinity choline uptake system of the rats after eight days of repeated coloracetam treatment. And they reported an increase in high affinity choline uptake activity, along with a boost in cognition, and concluded that coloracetam, could induce long-lasting procognitive effects by changing the choline transporter regulation system. A study at Iwate Medical University in Japan was done on mice with working memory deficits. In this study, scientists found that coloracetam improved working memory at all doses tested. They found it significantly reversed in acetylcholine deficit and concluded that coloracetam improved memory deficits by boosting high-affinity choline uptake 
and the release of acetylcholine. The recommended coloracetam dosage is 20 to 80 milligrams per day. So 20 milligrams would taken, be taken in two 10 milligram doses. One coloracetam dose in the morning and one in the early afternoon. Higher doses of coloracetam are based on clinical trials mostly done on animals. So when first adding coloracetam to your stack, most neurohackers start out with a much smaller dose and then see how you react to it. Coloracetam is typically sold in powder form. Smaller doses are often taken sublingually for faster and better absorption. And since coloracetam is a fat-soluble nootropic, you should take it with a meal containing healthy fats or with a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil or a similar healthy fat to ensure quick absorption. Coloracetam is non-toxic, so it's considered well-tolerated and safe. Now, many first-time users of coloracetam report fatigue, which is often a result from starting with too high of a dose. Now remember, coloracetam works by enhancing choline uptake in your brain. Choline is a precursor to the production of acetylcholine. If there's not enough choline available in your system, you'll feel the side effects. Side effects are rare, but can include anxiety, fatigue, headaches, nervousness, and nausea. Again, side effects are often a result of unusually high doses of this nootropic. Headaches from using coloracetam typically happen when you forgot to combine it with a good choline supplement. Headaches are often a symptom of a choline deficit in your brain. Coloracetam is usually sold in powder form. A couple of companies offer it in a liquid base, making it easier to dose and to take sublingually. Now, the best place today to buy coloracetam is Science Bio, who sell coloracetam as a research compound. It is sold to be used in an academic laboratory setting. They go on to state, nothing we sell is intended, nor is it manufactured for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes in humans. They have to say that. Now I will include a link for Science Bio below down in the notes section of this video. So that's my report on coloracetam. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com, my website, and search for coloracetam. Or click on the link below in the notes section of this video. Now once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. And you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. In my award-winning book, Head First, the second edition, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements, is now available. Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages and is available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. Now, you can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. And you will find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. So having, if you haven't already got a copy, please do so. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics, or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar down below in the notes section of this video. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.